Today we have a 2020 Low 1775 fishing machine walkthrough. This boat features an all welded VTEC hull design and is powered by 115 horsepower Mercury 4 stroke EFI outboard. Additionally, as you can tell, included with this boat is a caravan bunk trailer. This trailer includes a swing tongue, a swivel jack, 13 inch wheels, LED lights, side centering bunks. It, is, it additionally has a tough coat finish Composite fenders with steps, bearing buddies, and tie down straps. On the rear of the boat, we do have a small swim platform, and on the platform, we also have a fold down. two-step boarding ladder. And now if we step up into the rear of the boat, you'll notice that we have a flip-up two-seat jump seat. And in between the seating, you also have two cup holders and two storage trays and to stow this option of the boat, which is very handy, you simply fold the seat down, snap it into place, flip it over, and now you have a massive rear casting platform. Additionally to that, you also have another seat swivel base here is our ski tow pylon area. We also have beverage holders right there and one in each corner. When this is up, it gives us access to our uh, stern aerated live well. This live well also has the recirculation function. On the other side of the boat, we have a storage compartment that is primarily used for our battery storage for the operation of the motor and the house accessories. Now for the sake of pictures, I'm going to flip this back up. Now focusing our, tech, our attention on the passenger area of the cockpit. You notice on the port side, we do have a locker storage area. This may be big enough to fit smaller fishing poles inside of it, but is primarily meant for storage. Throughout the boat, we have a total of three seats. One in the passenger position right now that is movable one in the captain's area that is non-movable and one on the bow that is also movable. The two bow and passenger are swivel seats. The driver is a swivel seat with a slider. Now if we look at the passenger console, you'll notice we do have one storage cubby and a lockable glove box. Moving to the starboard, we do have our driver's area. We additionally have a cubby running along the bottom, perfect for storing smaller gear. You'll notice this boat does have a six person maximum capacity according to the US Coast Guard. Focusing our attention on our controlling aspect of the boat, 
We have our gear selection with forward, neutral, reverse. We also have a built-in trim button for up and down and our run and off switch. Moving forward, looking at the dash, first I'll bring our attention to our Jensen AM FM Bluetooth radio. We can also look at our gauges. The camera will focus. We have a speedometer on the very left. Moving to the right, we have a trim gauge, a fuel gauge, and a tachometer. Additionally, we do have lighted helm switches, including navigation and anchor lights, our bilge pump, and an additional accessory switch, which is not hooked up, but can be if you add anything to the boat, our aerators for our live wells, and uh, once again, another additional accessory switch. Moving farther down, we have our ignition key, along with our horn button. In this little cubby right here, we have our aux and USB port, along with the 12 volt. Moving up to the dash, you will notice that we do have a Lawrence Hook 2 fish finder. This off. Now, moving towards the bow area of the boat, we do have a rod locker. This is lockable. You'll notice in the very bottom, we do have a total of 10 rod tubes. And also importantly, underneath, we do have our trolling motor storage, or excuse me, trolling motor battery storage, along with our onboard battery charger. This is a really handy feature to have, the onboard battery charger. So after you come home from fishing all day and you wore your trolling motor battery down, you simply come up here to the bow of your boat, park it in your barn, garage, or near. Pop this little port open, and there's a plug right there. All you gotta do is plug your extension cord into it. On the starboard side, we do have our gas fill. In the floor, we also have a nice size storage compartment, perfect for gear, or tackle, life jackets, whatever you might need it for. And also importantly, on the port side, we do have a live well. This is aerated as well. Moving to the very bow of the boat, you'll find our trolling motor. does include a foot pedal and a bow trolling motor plug. We additionally have our trim and tilt switch for the rear motor. Now moving to the trolling motor. This is a Minn Kota 55 pound thrust. 12 volt trolling motor. Additionally, it does have a battery condition gauge right here. It's kind of hard to see. So, once again, this is a 2020 Low 175 FM walkthrough. This boat comes with a 115 horsepower Mercury EFI outboard. If you are interested in this boat, please feel free to stop by the store today. We'd love to show you around the boat and answer any questions you may have. If you can't make it in, please feel free to visit our website. That is www.leadersrpm.com. We will have many pictures as well as a detailed description going over the whole boat. Thank you for watching.